Welcome to Medieval Mason. In today's video, I'll be reconstructing the iconic lighthouse from Pirates of the Caribbean. I began this project by looking at several stills from the movie. Once I had a game plan, I cut out the main part of the building from foam core. For the foundation stones, I use some of my homemade brick texture made from great stuff. I'll put a link in the description to my tutorial if you're curious on how these are made. Next, for the main part of the lighthouse, I wanted a rock texture that would capture the structure's haphazard construction. I 3D printed a rock mold and used some children's foam clay to make stone panels. I'll also link my tutorial for these as well. For the top, I used a piece of tin foil to texture the exposed foam core before going through with a craft stick to indent a rough tile pattern. Once completed, I used some leftover Great Stuff bricks and scrap foam core to build up the top of the lighthouse. I designed and 3D printed a door and used some XPF foam and stir sticks to finish up the entryway. At this point, I applied some latex caulk to the lighthouse and used a wet paintbrush to work it in between the stones to give the appearance of mortar. This complete, I gave the whole thing a priming in matte gray. To build up the scene, I used some rocks made from woodland scenic molds and children's foam clay. To tie everything together, I mixed up some latex caulk and tile grout and covered the base of the diorama. Next, to make the support beam seen in the movie, I used some roughed up chopsticks. For painting, I started by giving the entire model a coat of sandy tan paint. Once I had finished with the airbrush, I went over the stonework with a heavy dry brush of gray tan, followed by an even lighter dry brush of white.
Finally, the last step in painting was to give the entire lighthouse a wash and watered down black paint. Once everything was dry, I put down a layer of watered down PVA glue in the areas I wanted sand. I then sifted out some tile grout before brushing away any extra. To lock everything in, I sprayed on some rubbing alcohol followed by some more watered down PVA, and at that point I decided it was complete. 